Hi, I'm Tanya representing the Robinson Lloyd Resiliency Group. We help companies to get an edge in three core ways. Firstly, we provide psychometric assessments that help our clients to understand how to help their students. We provide these services primarily to organizations that work with children and youth. Secondly, we use our data to customize program solutions or interventions that best meet the needs of our clients. And finally, we use our insights gain to help form meaningful connections or foster meaningful connections between our clients and all stakeholders. Today, I have the distinct honor of sharing our culminating speeches that were presented by students of the University Heights Charter School. First, you'd be hearing from their CEO, Dr. Christy Oliver. Just a bit of background about the Power of Resilient Stars public speaking and self-awareness program. This evolved quite naturally from students sharing about their anxiety levels and of course their need to share how or express how they feel with more confidence, with more passion. And I am a distinguished Toastmaster of, you know, for, you know, for about 10 years or so. And I decided to use those skills to help them gain their skills in public speaking. Now, just a bit of background. Our students from University Heights Charter School will be addressing themes about the Robb Elementary School shooting in UVD, Texas. They would also be sharing their thoughts on the closure of UHCS, as well as themes concerning their life, uh, you know, inclusion and, and coming from different cultures. Really amazing speeches lined up. Now let's just stop for a second to think about the Rob Elementary School shooting in Uvalde, Texas. According to the Washington Post, more than 311,000 students have experienced gun violence at school since Columbine. That's a big number, 311,000 students. We would like to it seems that there's an attempt to brand persons living with mental health disorders as the perpetrators of these killings. But according to research, persons with serious mental health disorders were responsible for 10% of all violent crimes, homicides in the United States. For mass killings, they're responsible for 33%. The links for this data would be provided below. As I shared, our students learned how to develop their voice. They, they went through about six weeks of, of coaching on how to present a public speaking speech. They viewed uh, topics that are current. And without further ado, we are going to look at the first message from the CEO of University Heights Charter School, Dr. Christy Oliver, followed by speeches from Christopher Gonzalez, who'd be sharing about his superpowers. That's a term that means characteristics or strengths that we teach in the Resilient Stars program. We'd also be hearing from London Davis, who shares and encourages us to take the jump, take the leap of faith, believe in ourselves. We'd also hear from Noah White, who was moved to write a speech after losing her, gran her great grandmother, who lived to be 100 years old. We then hear from Mariani's Torres, who spoke about the crime situation, particularly the mass shootings that have occurred recently here in the United States. We'll also be hearing from Abraham Omo Ihauza, who shares about work ethic, uh, success being 25% purposeful driven and 85% work ethic. And we are going to hear from Sarah Crutcher, who shared who am I? Her views on being a black student 
of University Heights Charter School, a Black American, as well as the need to feel safe. And finally, we would be hearing from Osirame McKehan, Oya Kilomin, who would be sharing the, her desire to fit in. I thank you and I ask you to please share this video widely, share all of our videos with our speeches because they're going to impact lives in a very, very powerful way. These children really moved the audience with their, the audience with their speeches. Very, very amazing and very proud of each and every one of them. Thank you. Specifically, I'm going to announce the fourth grade winners. And they are, first place goes to Christopher Gonzalez. Is that correct, his name? And yes. the second place goes to... Yay! Yay! Yay. Star. Yay. Where is the lovely Yay. star? She's still here? Hi, no, Christopher, congratulations. That's the star's you. name. Thank you. Star. Okay. She might have left. Thank you. Oh, she's there. You See you. Is star still there? Star? Yes. Yeah, I'm here. I just went to the bathroom. Oh, okay. I'm glad you're back. You are second place winner. Congratulations to you. Yay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and let's move over to group two, which My is... Uh, oh, did you want to say something, Star? Oh, I, I was so. going to say this is my first time getting close to first place. Oh, well, <laughs> congratulations. So I'm going to go to group two for the sake of time and from stuttering. Can you mute everyone, um, Miss um, Lord? I'm, so I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Thank you. Sorry. I'm sorry for the pressure, but it just makes things a little easier, less confusing. Yes. Thank you. All right, I'm going to keep going since it's quiet. So group two winners are for fifth grade is London Davis. Yay. Where's London? She's still there? Yeah, she's there. Oh my God. <laughs> and second place goes to Sarah C. Where is the lovely Sarah? Yay. Is Sarah still here? Yes. Sarah, where are you? We're so happy to to for your for your winning. Your second place win. Okay. She'll come on when she acknowledges. So we're going to move over to junior high group one. Is that correct, Miss Lloyd? Yes. And that goes to Noah White. Where is Noah White? <clears throat> Still on? I don't think. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. <clears throat> Noah, are you still there? Yeah. Congratulations. You are the winner for group one, junior high, seventh grade. And now we're gonna go over to group two, which is our eighth graders. The first place winner goes to Marianis Torres. And the second place winner is O.C. Ramikian. Where is she? O.C. Yeah, I'm here. Where, where's Marianis, the winner? I haven't seen her. Usually I hear from her instantly. Marianis, are you still on? Yes, you are. You're, you're celebrating. Congratulations, both of you lovely girls. And, and the group three final but not least winner goes to Abraham Eosia. Where is he? Abraham. Group Over three, here. number one. You still here? Yeah, he said, Congratulations, yep. uh, Abraham. You are the first place winner for group three. Middle school category. All right. Congratulations to all of you and I'll turn it back.